Well, back in the United States, there will be a new face on the campus of Catholic University of America this summer. Dr. Peter Kilpatrick has been named the new president starting July 1st. His wealth of experience includes his position as dean of engineering at the University of Notre Dame and most recently provost and vice president for academic affairs at the Illinois Institute of Technology. And Peter Sorry. Kilpatrick joins us now. Dr. Kilpatrick, welcome and congratulations. Um, thank you so much for your time today. Oh, I'm happy to do it, Tracy. Great to be with you. Well, first off, um, can you tell us what this new role means to you personally and professionally? Well, personally, it's, it's a lifetime dream to lead a university of, of this stature and this commitment to my Catholic faith. Professionally, I, I think it's the culmination of 39 years of being an academic and, a, and an administrator. So I, uh, while I'm really well prepared for it, I'm also um, encouraging everyone to support me as best they can. But I'm delighted to do this. Uh, previously, we had mentioned uh, some of your professional achievements. Uh, but I'm curious, what were some of the highlights for you in your career? And how would you like to build upon that experience in your new position at CUA? Well, I, th I think the highlights of my career have, have really been around the people that I've met. Um, I know when I was at uh, NC State University, I, I met a lot of uh, really wonderful mentors and, and students and people who shaped uh, the way I understood higher education. Uh, at Notre Dame, I, I certainly began to understand uh, how unique and how important Catholic higher ed is for the world of higher education. And then at Illinois Tech, I, I really learned um, how transformational uh, higher ed is becoming and how much it's changing and so the headwinds that it's facing. So th those are three of the biggest things I've taken from my past experiences. Uh, if you don't mind, I want to talk now about your faith. I understand that you converted to Catholicism as an adult. Um, tell us what led you to the Catholic faith. Oh, it's, it's a long story, Tracy, but I'll, I'll try to keep it short. Um, I was not a Catholic when I, when I married my wife, uh, Nancy, but she wanted to get married in the church. And so I agreed a little under duress that I would raise our children Catholic. Um, and then three years later, when, when my wife was pregnant with our oldest daughter, Elizabeth, uh, we went to the local parish to arrange to have the baby baptized, uh, you know, after the baby was born. And the priest said, gee, I haven't seen you much in our parish. Uh, you need to be practicing for us to baptize your children. And so that was really one of my first masses. And it, I just fell in love with the church through the message that the priest delivered that day, which was a message about the sanctity of life. Uh, and it was very moving to me. Uh, having a wife who was six or seven months pregnant at the time to hear that message. And, you know, God was very good to me, and um, I've just been totally in love with the faith for the, for the next 41 years, and here I am. Oh, that is so wonderful. Well, before I let you go, um, I'm curious, how do you see the future of CUA, and what are you looking most forward to in your new role? Oh, I think... The university's future is incredibly bright. Uh, John Garvey has just done a magnificent job of leading this university for 12 years. And he's accomplished so much in terms of uh, upgrading the facilities, uh, hiring great uh, Catholic faculty and staff, um, helping to launch an advancement effort that's really, um, you know, really developed nicely over the last several years under Scott Rembold's leadership and. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to continue the momentum that John and the university has. Um, there are a few headwinds, I think, that the university faces because of the transformation of higher ed. Um, so I'll be focusing on uh, all of those things that John did so well, but also, uh, you know, really focusing in on enrollment and revenue growth for the university so that Catholic University can, be, can, can really flourish in the years to come. Well, Dr. Kilpatrick, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Congratulations again, and God bless you. Thank you so much, Tracy. I appreciate it. Good to be with you today.